happy weekend so here's the finished product this is basically a barbecue that my dad built for his 70th birthday and he's roasting a pig and a lamb and this is the first time using it and so far so good See the bucket on the floor imagine taking that bucket cur cutting it in half vertically and then taking the face and welding it to the face so you have the butt and the butt away from each other that's what that is it was cut in half and the left side and right side were were welded to each other i'm going to take flip it right side up and come and place it on that trailer that trailer is he's had laying around for many many years he's repurposing it so you can take the barbecue flipper right set up put it on that trailer and then stainless steel edge for prepping the food so here it is the cage is built around it That's where the ashes get discharged. Once you're done, you pull that ashes fall down. There's a second one on the left. And and that's where the rotis rebar sits. Here we are, so they have the stainless steel top on. Basically, they took a piece of sheet, sheet metal, stainless steel, they cut it to the right size, bent it, and then took a rubber mallet and bent it around that radius of the barbecue. Looks pretty good so far. Right there, they could put their utensils, they could put food, it's stainless steel. That's the gears, that's rotating. They're not happy with the or rotations per minute. It's about four rotations per minute. They want to reduce it to two rotations per minute. So they want to add another gear, another chain. Right there, they want to add another gear and then a chain from the motor to that gear and then another chain to the other gear to slow down the rotations per minute. Then they have to build a box all around that so nobody catches their finger. Mora is a very powerful Mora. He was going to use that to build a machine that bends marrow, like two inch by two inch tubing. So he has the torque, he has the power for it. Chicken he got, yeah, the chicken. Yeah. 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 Now he said, I want to rent this once it's done because I need to buy diesel for my Mora home. He has a Mora home. He goes RVing once in a while. So he's like, yeah, I need money. I need money for fuel. This is the finished product. Here's the fire. We're prepping the pig. Now I'm touching the box and it, it is a little hot. Like I can't keep my hand on it for more than 10 seconds. So I am concerned about the heat on that plug so I'm thinking right there it's really cool we might redo the electrical and move it on there because of they're still hot so now he's running with the drill because unfortunately when they process the pig they cut half of its mouth off so usually you put the bar through its mouth we couldn't therefore we had to drill a hole through its brain through its skull to get the bar this was a little disgusting. And then we figured the center of the pig is going to get soft as it's cooking and it's going to fall. So we took a piece of flat bar, made two holes in it, bent it after the radius of the pig and put bailing wire and tied it to the stainless steel rod. This way as the meat gets soft as it cooks, it doesn't fall. Right there, we're tying it. And here we are placing it. 
first time pouring in, I remember there's a lot of heat in there. Fire's been going on for, I don't know, an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So what we might do up there in the back is the pivot point. We're going to pour a round bar there so we could pivot the bar 180 degrees. The front of it, we could rotate 180 degrees so it's away from the fire when we put the meat on it and then swing it back 180 degrees on that pivot point in the back which is going to be a lot easier It's all secure and it's starting to cook. And here he has a marinade where he's rubbing it so it gives it that golden brown color Here he cut lines into it so the heat goes deeper into the meat and cooks more evenly. So this is my dad's 78th birthday today and he wanted his grill done by then so he could cook the pig and the lamb to test it out for his 78th birthday. Here we go, it's almost done. Now that mora is a very powerful mora. He was gonna use that to build a machine that bends marrow, like two inch by two inch tubing. So he has the torque, he has the power for it. Which means, I mean, you could put a whole buffalo in there and it's gonna, it has the torque to spin it with no problem. And now, of course, towards the end, when it was all said and done, the old guys, they walk around and they come around and they're like, oh, how can we improve it? How can we improve it? And they're all saying, oh, let's do that. One guy's, everybody has their suggestion, we should do this. Somebody's like, no, we should do that, we should do that. 